killing yourself. What's going on? I just came to give me this. Is there a problem with that? Then take the ring back. We were doing fine until you stuck your nose in. Oh, don't kid yourself. Alison knows what you're like. Do you think she'd marry a rapist? Chris, you don't need to say. I know. That's all. On your feet, Rembrandt. There's work to be done. Put away your crown. Hey, this is my work. Proper work, sunshine. Do you mind? I've got a show to get ready for. Change your priorities. There's a heap of jobs to be done around the house. Repot plants, replace water step. What is this? We'll get onto the big stuff later. Like painting the roof, or replacing the fence. Hey, wait a second, okay? What about the stuff that I want to do? I've got my own priorities, thank you very much. Yeah, fine. You be like that. It's only Mum I was thinking about. Don't guilt trip me. Well, you know how worried she is. What she's been through lately. Now, if she's going to sell this house, we should make sure we get the best price for it. Yes, so that doesn't make me a tame handyman. Thank you very much. Yeah, true enough. But on the other hand, you haven't exactly been going out of your way to help out around the house, have you? Now, this is an ideal time to make up for it. For Mum's sake. <sighs> Whoa. I don't believe that. I mean, neither, but it happened. Gone crazy. Well, no one ever said love was sensible. Love? Love? Of course, we've been through this before, remember? It's true, though. I love you. Yeah, sure. Sure, when, uh, when it suits you, when you haven't got another female handy. No, it's not like that. I, I don't think I ever stopped loving you. How can, how can you put someone through what you put me through and then turn around and say that you love them? Honestly, Chris, I don't even think you know the meaning of the word. I am being honest, Ali. Believe me. Please believe me. God, I want to. I really want to. But I can't even trust you. Well, do. I mean it. Let, let's start from scratch. I, I know I, I've hurt you. I've made mistakes, bad ones. But I've learned from them. I know what you mean to me now. <sighs> You're just lonely because Melanie's away. No, I... You are. You're on the rebound. You... you... I just don't want to be made a fool of again, OK? You won't be, I promise. Oh, well, you're right. It's going to be different this time, huh? Yes, it will. <sighs> Not yet. Not yet. Over here, we've got the cookie jar, which Sam is extremely fond of. No worry. Shopping day tomorrow. And that's about it. My place is your place. Well, thanks a lot. I'll just try not to get anyone's hair. I'm sure we won't even know you're around. Anyone home? Hey, how are you? Uh, tea, coffee, beer, wine? Maybe later. Sure. Thanks. We're off to look at a car for Isaac. Hey, would you fancy some Chinese for dinner? I can pick some up on the way home. Great, yeah. I'd love some. OK. All right, yeah. see ya. Catch you later. Sweet. You can come out now, Sam. The boogeymen have all gone. It's safe. Very friendly, isn't it? A nice warm welcome for our new flatmate. You didn't ask me whether I wanted a new flatmate. Do I need to? I should have been consulted, Steve. I don't ever recall that being a house rule, Sam. In fact, I'd say the arrangements around here have been pretty damn loose in the past. Remember a certain Leanne who came to stay? I don't remember anyone asking me. And Jamie's only staying here for a few days, not for weeks like she was. Jamie is staying. That was different. Why? Because she was your girlfriend? Oh, partly. Or maybe it's because she wasn't gay. Forget it, Steve. Sam, would one of the reasons be why you can't stand Jamie being around you have something to do with homosexuality? Leave it alone. It's... It's... Sam, this is the 90s? Look, Steve, man, I don't want to talk about it, all right? <laughs> That's nearly it. I'll do Mrs. Abernethy's dressing. You can check the uh, Simpson boy stitches. And with any luck, we'll be out of here on time, OK? Ellie? Hmm? Did you get that? 
Sorry, what? The Simpson boy stitches. Right, yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just thinking about other things. I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, I'll meet you at your place then. Sequity, here we come. Yeah. Nicely, but there's a time and place, and this is neither. Unfortunately, not all our patients are rock fans. Come on, we weren't doing anything wrong. Yes, you were, to my eardrums. Perhaps you'd like to consider an acoustic performance. This is rock and roll, Nurse Burton. Not that hippy dippy folk stuff or whatever it is you're into. The amplifiers stay off. We were just trying to cheer up Kim. It's okay, Nick. Maybe it is time to stop. I'm feeling a bit tired anyway. I'll send a nurse to take you back to the wards. What a cow. Sorry, guys. That's cool. It's been a buzz. Thanks, Nick. Have you thought about what I said? <laughs> Can't think about anything else. And, look, I meant every word. I know it's hard for you to believe. Well, it's hard enough to believe my own feelings. How could I ever let myself feel like this again? <laughs> I know. It's taken me by surprise, too. We need to talk. Properly, I mean, not just standing around here. Right. Um, should we go to my place? I don't think your place or mine. We can't talk about what we need to with flatmates around. Well, let's get away then. I've got the weekend uh -uh, off. I can't. I'm going to take a woody tonight. Tonight? Mm, cousin's 21st. Oh. And I should go. Of course. You know, family commitments. Mm. Mm, I could ring Mum and tell her that I can't make it. Mm, how would she feel? No, it's important for us to talk. As soon as possible. Come on, Ellie, where are you? Did you say she was going to be late? As far as I know, you and her are supposed to be taking in the scenic wonders of Tikawoody tonight. We should have been there halfway there by now. I am going to get you for this. <sighs> French trouble, is it, Steve? Flipping thing feels a need to defrost itself and dump water all over my floor at least once a week. Why don't you save yourself some stress and call a repairman? Because I can't afford it, all right? They they charge like wounded bulls. Ah! Oh, give it to me. Man, this isn't like Ellie. This punctuality. Nah, uh, she'll turn out. Oh, what if something weird's happened? What kind of weird? Daryl weird. Darren, well, what's he been doing? He's just been acting really freaky lately. You know, that guy's always freaky in my book. No, I mean, really freaky. Obsessed. Do you know he asked Ellie to marry him? No, no, I didn't. Well, when he came in for his operation, he wanted to take her away. You guys of the planet. Well, what if she has gone with him? Nah, she wouldn't, unless... Unless what? Unless he forced it to think of what happened to Kirsty. Oh, I would rather forget. What are you doing? Ring up the Nielsen, seeing if Daryl's there. Hang on, hang on. Look, just let's not panic. We'll give her another ten minutes. She could have been had up at work or something. Ten minutes, no longer. And breathe out. It's fine, Nick. You've made a really good recovery. Does that mean I'm out of here? You're free to go home tomorrow. Wonderful. It'll be good to have you back home again. Ah! What? It hurts, still here. Well, that's to be expected. It'll take a while before you feel completely back to normal. But you don't need any more bed rest. You're fine to go home. Great. OK, good night. Post-op blues, eh? Never mind, I think I have the cure. A strict pizza diet, followed by a regular intake of videos. How does that sound? Great. Stuart. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Housework. At this time of night? Uh, yeah. Come on, out of this. I'm taking you out on the town. Mm -mm, not tonight. I can't. I've got too much work to do around the house. Who says? Come on, nobody spends the best years of their life doing housework. Daryl says. He made a list. 
can't see it. Exploitation, that's what that is. <laughs> Stand up for your rights. Teenagers of the world unite. You have nothing to lose but your overalls. No, I can't. He's sort of right. Impossible. No, some of the stuff he says, you know. I mean, I haven't helped Mum out the way I should have over the last few months, and the least I can do is help out around the house. OK, sure, like tomorrow morning, maybe. Meanwhile, let's go. I can't, sorry. You're being boring again. Hello. Hey, Stuart. Hey, Steve, what's up, man? Oh, uh, nothing special, mate. Um, I just had an idea about, um, about a, a, a fundraising campaign, and I was wondering if Daryl was home, I could run it past him. Ah, uh, no, he's not, sorry. Um, last time I saw him was about... Arrogant. He's packing boxes into his car. He didn't say where he was going. Was there anyone with him? Ah, uh, no, I didn't think so. Why? Ah, uh, no, no, it, it doesn't matter, mate. Look, um, I'll catch up with him later, right? Eh? Uh, by the way, have you seen Ellie by any chance today? Ah, it's nothing special, mate. Look, uh, thanks very much, okay? I'll catch up with you later. Ciao. Hi. What's new? He's sending me home. Choice. When do you get out? Tomorrow. Lucky pig. You want to swap places? If only. I'll be sorry to see you go, though. Really? Of course. I've gone mad without some company in here. You mean it? I really mean it. I'm going to miss you. Well, I can't leave you by yourself, then, can I? What do you mean? You won't have to miss me. I'm staying. Hi. Hi. I thought you'd gone home hours ago. Change your shift. No, no. You haven't seen Alison, I suppose. Mm, last time I saw her was in the exam room. Was she with anyone? No, she was on the phone writing something down, I think. Why? Uh, no big deal. Oh, fair enough. Uh, she looked quite distracted, if that's any help. Great. Yeah, ta. Thanks, okay. Marina. Well, she's not here, and God knows where she is now. All sincere about that? Of course. A blank piece of paper. It'll have Alison's fingerprints on it, which proves that she was here, but she's not here now. That's absolutely brilliant. Another Manu mystery solved by the intrepid sleuth herself. Stage two. Yes. Daryl's handwriting. I am taking my victim to 33B Marlborough Street. Knock three times on the door and ask for Charlie Chan. Uh-uh. Ellie's handwriting, actually. Let me see. What do you make of it? Jack Jackson. Hmm, that's what I make of it. Okay. Great, phone number coming up. Good, cool. Who the hell or what the hell is Jackson? You, um, booked us into a hotel room overnight. Yeah, well, that's how hotels work. Is that a problem? It's just uh, a little unexpected, you know. I thought we might go to a nice restaurant, have a quiet meal, maybe a, uh, a long talk. So we will, eventually. I see. I just want to take things one step at a time. Oh, and, um... What was the first step? Well, I think there's a few things we need to get out of the way uh, before we start talking, that is. Oh, and um, what might they be? Well, well. I thought Mum told you you weren't welcome. She's not here, is she? But I am. And if you're not welcome in my mother's house, you're not welcome. Hey, hey. Hold on, all right? Ah, Stuart, I thought we'd been through this. It's time to think about Mum and not yourself, all right? Go on, get out. Great. See you around, Stuart. <laughs> right. So, were there any calls? Were there any calls? Yeah, Steve called. Uh, he wanted to know where you were. Oh, I know uh, where Alison was. How the hell should I know? So, what's the big mystery? What's happening with you and Alison? Nothing. So, what have you been up to? Pashing up with your girlfriend or getting on with your chores? We've done most of them. Excellent. Then you can start another lot tomorrow, starting with the skirting boards. OK. 
come off it, all right? I've done my share. I've got my own work to do. All in good time. Do you mind? I've got an exhibition of paint. Is that so? Oh, by the way, this came in the post for you. It's the repair bill for fixing your motorbike. What are you opening my mail now? I thought I might give you a pleasant surprise and pay for it myself. But if you're not going to pull your weight around the place, I don't think I'll bother. Good night. What'd she say? Um, she got a message from Kevin. It was a bit garbled. Alison called to say she had a sudden change of shift and she wouldn't be going down. But she hasn't, has she? Yeah, I wonder why Alison lied to me mum. Exactly. Uh, What's up? Uh, nothing much. You haven't seen Ellie, have you? No, why? Is everything all right? No, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Right. There's only one option. What's that? We'll have to go through all the Jacksons until we match the same phone number. Oh, sure. There's only probably about two or three hundred of them. H-I-J. Oh, H-I-J. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. Oh, it's... This is impossible. Yeah. All right. Got it. Well done. Jackson's hotel, that's got to be it. Right. She can't have gone to a hotel with Daryl, can she? Okay. Can she? Shh, 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 shh. Oh, I didn't think you'd be back. You don't deserve me. I know. Hey, but if I'd started a fight with Daryl. There's a way around any problem. It's impossible. Not only does he kick you out, he won't let me paint. I'm not going to get my exhibition done unless he lets me paint. You can't let him get away with it. He's just a no-talent bully, Stuart. And look at you. You've got so much going for you. Don't let him make a wimp out of you. Oh, it's a bit late. See, Daryl's going to pay for my bike to get fixed if I do what he wants. I can't afford not to go along with him. That really sucks. Well, I can't afford to pay for it. Well, I could try and get some cash to lend you. Why don't you come stay with me till Mum comes home? No. I can't do that. I've got to do this by myself. I've got to be independent. It's important for my work. So what will you do? I'll find a way. I'll cope. Poor Stuart. Remember, I'm always here if you need me. Hey, have you got a calculator? Calculator? Yeah, I've been doing my GST. Every time I add the figures up, they come out differently. So I think I need a calculator. Um, try one of the exam rooms. I don't know. OK, thanks. Hey, what are you doing here anyway? Shouldn't you have gone home hours ago? Uh, I didn't want to. Doesn't feel like home anymore. Oh, Sam, that's terrible. Everyone needs a place they can call home. What's gone wrong? I just don't feel welcome, that's all. Why ever not? You know, after living with Steve this long, you'd think he would have consulted me before asking someone else to move in. But now that Jamie's shifted in and he's got some of his friends round tonight, you know, I don't feel like part of the flat anymore, you know? I feel really uncomfortable. It's not very fair when you've been there all along. <sighs> exactly. Hey, shouldn't you be in bed? Couldn't sleep. Jenny said you were going home tomorrow. Yeah. Well, that's good, isn't it? I don't want to. I know the feeling. I reckon it'd be great if I could develop some terrible disease. Then I'd have to keep me here. Nick, you shouldn't joke about such things. I'm not joking. I'd rather be sick than leave, Kim. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, sometimes you're very romantic for a nerd. Thought about throwing a sickie. You know, like at school. Oh, yeah. Throwing a sickie in a hospital. Don't like your chances, mate. Not unless I get professional help. <sighs> no. Oh, come on, Sam. Oh, what's something that... Well, it doesn't kill you, but it's really hard for the doctors to spot. Forget it, Nick. Find another sucker. So how do we get past the receptionist, Dr. Watson? Uh, elementary, my dear Sherlock. Hi. Um, sorry to bother you so late at night, but uh, my husband and I are leaving the country tomorrow morning. And we have some friends here that would like to see you before we go, but we know they're on honeymoon and we're not too sure what name they're under. <clears throat> Do you have a guest under the name of Nielsen? <clears throat> no. 
Sorry, nobody with that name. Um, how about Raina? R A Y N. Raina, yes. Room thirteen. I'll ring through. Oh no 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 no. It's okay. We'll just go on that. We're supposed to ring through, especially at this time of night. Oh. Look, our plane flight was delayed and we missed the wedding. We'd really like to surprise them. Well, all right then. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And the new line came so naturally Should to you. Absolutely. You haven't been here long, eh? Long enough to know you shouldn't be roaming the corridors. So how do you like it? The job, that is. It's fine. All those years of nursing school before you can even get your first job? It must be really tough. That's a lot of work, sure. You must learn all kinds of stuff. How long does it take? Why? Are you considering a career? Well, ever since I was here. It's been really fascinating, you know, curing people, medicine and all that. Got any books on it? Of course. I can get you all the information on the various courses, if you like. That'd be great. Hey, and have you got any books on the real thing, like medicine and diseases and that? Sure. In fact, there's a few in my locker. I'll bring them round. Cool. No worries. As long as you do as you're told and stay in bed, OK? Scout's honour. What are you guys doing here? What, Jackie, Steve, what are you doing? Steve, let's go. What? Come on, it's a huge mistake. No, wait a minute. How could you with him? Hey, leave her alone. It's got nothing to do with oh, you. Just wait a minute. It's got everything to do with me. Every time Alison's fallen apart, it's been because of you, and I've been there to pick up the just pieces. Just leave it, Steve. No. You know, you're really remarkable. Just using it for fun and games because you're lonely. Steve! It's not like that. Isn't just it? Just stop it! What are you guys doing here anyway? We try to save you from Daryl. Daryl? Daryl? Yeah. Well, you guys have got it all wrong. We are here because I love Alison. And this time we are getting married. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost. It seems I think the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance of a dream, Sean and Street. Yesterday's another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall Says I'll be Sean and Street If you want to find a way Of searching for another world It's hard to see Sean and Street Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand on air.